Hello beautiful beings. Hope all is well. Today we're going to work on an owl and I'm going to take a little Mod Podge right here because I just want this part to have a little black glitter and we're using that long black glitter. I think the rest I'm going to put the, the different we're gonna put this on, I think, just to make the brown pop because I got a bunch of darker beads. So the only reason I'm really putting the black right here is because I want his nose to pop out. I might change it later, but we'll see. Put that on there. We'll let that dry. Okay, while the owl's drawing with glitter on him, we're gonna put a little tacky glue on two buttons for his eyes. You just need a little bit. We're gonna make his eyes yellow. They're going to be yellow. toothpick so I don't get too much glue because I don't want too much glue because it's just a little black bead all right so I'm going to move this over and make sure it's centered in the middle it's centered in the middle My mom loved owls. That was her favorite thing. She used to have this beautiful owl lamp. I don't even know what ever happened to it. But she loved owls and butterflies. Those were her favorite. Right. In the middle. Can I do it? It's in the middle. I don't want his eyes all wonky, looking one way, and his eye, other eye looking the other one, other way. All right. It took me forever to find two buttons that were the same size. Okay, nope, I still don't like that. All right. Hopefully they dry and they're in the middle. And I used these from Crafter Square, the Dollar Tree. For the middle eye, and I use these for the color of the eye. Okay. Okay, that's dry. Now we're gonna add the other color. Just real quick, and the glitters for Ray Collections. Silver color. And it's not opened. Oh, oh. It's not opened. Just one little bit over it. On the sides, I want it more on the sides and the ends. Okay, when it dries, we'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna add some black on his wings just to balance it out. Just to balance it out. The colors. experimenting 
because I've never done this before. So, where's the black? We're gonna see how it turns out together. I just want a little black, just to balance because I got black there. It's all gonna be covered up, but it's gonna, you're gonna still be able to see it. So, I'm gonna make sure it's balanced out. Yeah, this goes way faster if you just take the lid off. Tap it real lightly, real lightly. other wing just bouncing out the colors and we'll be back okay I said we're gonna experiment as you can see these beads that I want to use don't match the silver so what I'm gonna experiment and you guys are gonna do it with me we're going to paint over the silver with bronze Okay, and I am going to water it down. So I'm going to put a little bit here, and we're going to see how this turns out. I forgot a paintbrush. Hopefully, this turns out, but I got water here, and we're going to put water in with it, thin it out so it's not dominant because I still want that feather fur look. I don't want to take that away. So, we're gonna try this. Hopefully it works. Just gonna go over it like so. I'm gonna go over the black a little bit because its eyes are black and I want them to just not, I don't want them to blend in where you can't see them. I'm gonna try to lay the black. Basically just did that for his nose up there, the black up here, right there. All we're doing is trying to make the silver a goldish color so it matches the beads. I'm gonna let it dry. Still got a silverish, silver color, but that's okay. Might as well go over a little black. Just a little. And a little water. So the beads blend in. I'm gonna let it dry. And then we'll come back and see how it looks. I think. So far, so good. Okay. It's dry, and as you can see, it did dye it down. So it's not so silvery. Went from this to this. Now we're gonna glue the eyes on. Perfect. So I'm gonna make sure they're even. And not too close together. That one's kind of wonky, so let's turn it that. I don't know the this one looks bigger somehow, but they're the same size, so let's turn it. Still looks bigger. These from Crafter Square Dollar Tree. I'm going to put them on the ear.
Seems like that one looks bigger, but they're the same size. Alright, good enough. Then I got this nose. This is from Walmart. That's why I wanted it black underneath. It's gonna be silver so nose. And I think that looks good. And we're gonna let that dry. Until I figure out what I'm gonna do next. Okay, our owl is dry, so now we're gonna go and give him some brows around here, like so. And we're gonna put the beads sideways. That heavy weights, <laughs> heavy weights. I think I might go one more. I might go one more. What do you think? I like. Now we're gonna do the feet. Claws. I'm gonna do three with the long ones. So. I'm coming from the middle up to down. This one's in the middle. To that curve right there. And there we go. So far, so good. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the rest. Okay, I've decided to put some little black ones. Well, they're not all black, but see how some of them are purple? I'm going to put these around the top of his brow. And I think I'm going to use the toothpick. Toothpick. To put it down so it's not so much glue. Because they are really tiny beads. We had a fly buzzing around. It's joined us. <laughs> right. I'm just going to take these little ones. Get these out of the way. Push these up. want to highlight his brow. This would make a good magnet for the fridge, I think. 
I just put it in front of the journal. That was way too tiny to go in there. I was thinking about putting it around there too. That wasn't so much bigger, was it? Look way better when it's dry. Hmm. Well, so I'm gonna put some in there, I think. Around his nose. Toothpick off a little bit. And some them down. Think about sequence, that's why they're out, but kind of don't want that idea, no? Persistent fly he wants to be in the video. Oh, he landed to watch. He landed to watch. Let me get this little one in here. I need to go sideways. There we go. I don't want to over do it, but I did want to put beads on too. <sighs> Sinking these white ones. But I'm not sure how they look. And I wanted them to stand them. Yeah, what the heck? We'll put some. We'll put some of them in there. Go away, fly. It's like when you're sleeping and a fly's buzzing around you. <sighs> so this one wants to be in the video. I don't want any video, so go away, fly. I, I might have too many in here. This one might. I don't know. Nope, we didn't need that one. I think we need them. I don't know if I should do another layer of the thin ones or not. I think I might. I think I might. All right, we're gonna put the little tiny ones in there. I'm gonna try to put them on the side. There's a hair on my toothpick. Get that off there. We don't want that on our owl.
I'm not going to do the owl, whole owl in different beads. I do want to leave some of our feather hair looking stuff. There we go. Hopefully, it looks really nice when it's dry. But that beads like sideways, and I don't want it sideways. I want to stand it on. Needs turn. I just hope that turns out good. I don't know. I don't want to sound a fly. Get it? Fly? <laughs> that fly buzzing around. <laughs> right. I did. I want to put some up here. I think some of these like along here. So we're going to do that now. area and I think that's all I'm going to do there. We'll be back when it dries. Okay, it's almost dry. I couldn't wait. <laughs> now we're going to put some beads around his head. I'm going to put some beads here. I'm try to that one lines up either. All right, I'm overthinking it. It doesn't line up. All right. We'll move it up. We'll just move it up. And I wanted to take a white one. Stick it in there. We'll take a white one over here. Move it up. And then the yellow one. Another yellow one. It's all wonky. They're not lining up. I think that's lined up. Let's see. Not really. That one's a little higher. Move it down. That one's way off over here way off.
You'll find when you're creating, you have a tendency to overthink. And I've been doing it lately. I try to stop myself when I realize I'm doing it. I really don't like that one going up like that. There we go. And I have, and when I found when I used to overthink, it'd take me forever to do something. And then I'd start doubting myself, so I had to train myself not to do that. too. So, stick that in the glue and move it up. See, they're not really lined up, but that's okay. Then I found these, and I was thinking, that one's driving me nuts. It keeps moving on me. <clears throat> I found these little long ones, and I wanted to put them in here. And I got them. So there's from Dollar Tree, Crafty Square. And I was thinking about just zigzagging them in there. Like in between, like. hard because you keep getting more ideas but I'm not sure still not sure about his head <laughs> it kind of looks like a helmet I don't like that I'm sure somebody else would like it but I found the things I don't like a lot of people like all got different personalities and like different things which is good because it makes the world less boring right I'm gonna take some more of these off we'll be up in a minute so I don't get it glue I'm gonna make sure I pull it so that glue stays on the plastic and doesn't come up with a gem I didn't even think about it, but I hope I have enough. Because I think this is the only star it has them. Right. Push back down. It's way too far up, but we're going to push it in the glue and then push it down. And try to t stay consistent with the pattern that we just started. Of course, I'm going to need a lot more of these. And glue. And glue. Okay, I think I got all of them. I'm gonna start this just to see. Hopefully I don't run out of them. I might just pull it off. I'm not sure. Ok, 
keeping it pretty straight, huh? It's a plus. glue just a little bit no, that wasn't a little bit but it'll do <laughs> control control the glue here Pretty consistent, huh? So I might go up a little bit there, but just move it down. Oh, there's another one right there I could have used. I don't need it, I don't think. One left out of that whole thing. What do you guys think about his head? Should I not put those beads on there? I'm thinking I'm gonna take them off. I don't think I like them on there. I don't think I like them on there, so we're gonna take them off. It looks like a helmet instead of a owl's head. I don't even know where that one come from. Yeah, I think it looks better without them. I don't like them there. Just make sure you guys decide if you don't like something before the glue dries. You just take it right off. Okay. I'll be back when it dries. I wanted to put something here. And I don't know what yet. Okay, beautiful beings. I'm trying to figure out what to do here. I think that looks like a belly belly button right there. <laughs> and I don't want him to look like he has a belly button, so I think I'm gonna take that out and just zigzag some of these down in there. That's what I think I'm gonna do. So, let's put some glue. Try to zigzag it with a toothpick. Maybe I should have went up more. I don't know. Overthinking it. Yeah, I think his head looks way better without that on it. Kind of look like a bear. <laughs> Tell me what you think in the comment section, please. All right. So we're going to take some of these and we're just going to go zigzag. Well, we bought toothpick. There's too much on there. didn't help. Let's do it that way, yeah. This one goes down. Sometimes you wipe the toothpick off and it doesn't work. Alright, I want this one there. I don't know. This one up. These are so small to work with. There we go. We are getting her. This one that way. And I need a little one going down right there. That worked this way. Keep 
wiping a toothpick off on these because these are really lightweight. And they like to stick. Every other way. The other end. They just die. Just die. Alright, any more? Hopefully there's no purple ones in here. I'm gonna dot that in the glue and start another line right there. And get this one out of the way. It's just sitting there. And these ones do not want to work with you. Too small. For what I'm trying to do. Up and down, up and down. Just trying to make it look like feathers. That's a purple one, that's a purple one. Either they stick or they don't. What's going on here? Alright, you're going down. They're going up. Stay. Huh? Come on. Wonky. Oh, wonky. Just want to cover that black patch up of the glitter so it wasn't just some black circle there and people were like why is there a black circle there all right they don't want to work with me guys all right good enough this one's too short that one there and of course i ran out of glue For right there definitely wiping that off what do we got here? This one. Boom. We done? Looks like a purple one, but it didn't when it was on the table. There. I think that's good. So what do you think? What do you think of the owl? Do you like it? Do you don't like it? Yay, nay. I think it looks better without the helmet thing looking. <laughs> All right. Okay, beautiful beings. I decided we were missing something. So we're gonna add it. Much better. Okay, beautiful beings. Last step, I promise. I'm not gonna do nothing more. I'm just added some beads here, the real small ones. Now I'm gonna do it on the bottom. And then the owl is completely done. Hey, beautiful beings. Okay, beautiful beings. Here's our final owl that we created together. And I think the owl turned out very, very cute. And there you go. Have a wonderful everything.